Hey everybody, here's today's project, which is an in-class homework assignment. It is not a quiz like we've had in the past, so you do not need to exactly duplicate what I'm about to show you. This is just an example, and you are using your own creativity to explore JIT.gen and to create five unique compositions that are as different from each other as possible. And there's certain elements that are going to be included in every one of the compositions. So let's turn on the patch. We see that we have the red balls falling because gravity is on by default and we haven't applied anything to the poly. I'm using a poly 20 here. You can use a poly 20 or you can use a different number. That's up to you. So take a look at my composition one, which is a stack of sheets of randomly colored paper on a red kind of cloudy background. Again, this is just an example. You can do anything you want, but the elements that need to be included are there needs to be a camera position, there needs to be two lights that you're setting the attributes of, there needs to be a poly where you're manipulating the shape, the texture, and the fizz.body properties, and also a background projected into the world. So now we'll take a look using exactly the same tools at number two where I've created a very, very different composition where kinematic is zero, and I have randomly shaped cubes that are lit differently and colored differently on a different background. When I go into number three, I have yet another composition. This time it's more like a sculpture sitting on a pedestal with shadows, and that sculpture has a map projected onto it, and we can see here that it uses norm for rotation and scaling so that we get some regularity rather than randomness in the rotation and scaling. Into number four, which is a totally different look, but using the same ideas, it's uh, some sort of outer space sculpture using uh, noise for projecting a pattern in such a way that it creates an irregular pattern. And that's an interesting little challenge if you wanna pursue that. And into number five, which is a flat composition of a series of concentric circles with a gradient color background. And again, you're not repeating any of these. You can use them as inspiration. You can try and copy them or partially copy them if you want. But the idea here is that you're creating five of your own compositions that are as different from each other as possible using the same set of ideas. So let's take a look inside one of these to see how I approached it. Um, I could have used a pattern storage, but I didn't in this particular case um, because my emphasis was really on working with the JIT.gen. So inside I've got a button that triggers the composition by sending messages to each of my send and receive objects, which I've color coded so I can be very clear about what is being sent where. I've marked all my JIT.gens with a color so I can easily find them and open them up and also marked my patchers with a color and just tried to make a layout that's as readable as possible. And again, if you would like to use pattern storage, if you want additional practice with pattern storage, feel free to do that. Your multi-sliders will have to be out here on the main page. You won't be able to encapsulate your multi-sliders or your pattern storage for right now. There is a way to do that, but we just haven't covered it yet. And uh, use your creativity and push yourself with JIT.gen to leverage your understanding of it and also build your understanding of it further. And we'll step through these and take a look at them one more time.